Welcome to this short video presentation about the Wigston Heritage Centre in Leicestershire, England. The centre is easy to find and is located by the side of Wigston Swimming Baths on Station Road. Take the turn to the swimming baths by the traffic lights and keep to the left through the green gates, following the short road to a parking area on the right. There's ample car parking, as you can see, opposite the Heritage Centre. We're open on Fridays from 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon and staffed by volunteers who are knowledgeable about Wigston and the surrounding areas. We'll also help you on your family history research. After parking, you'll find the centre in front of you and very well signed. The centre is fully accessible for wheelchair users and has disabled toilet facilities. Let's take a guided tour of the Heritage Centre and see what can be found there. You'll be met at the reception desk by a volunteer and asked to sign in. If it's your first visit, then our friendly volunteers will show you around and explain what you can see and how to find everything. To the left of the reception desk is the coffee area with display boards giving a background to the Greater Wigston Historical Society who are responsible for setting up this facility. Display boards also show details of our sponsors and a magnificent display of local photographs by Neville Chadwick photographers. Another display board shows some of Wigston's significant buildings, followed by original artwork by well-known local artists Alwyn Hughes, Judy Ashcroft and Tony Danvers, all of which have been donated to the Heritage Centre. There are computer workstations around the room, more of which a little later. There are 1886 Ordnance Survey maps of Wigston Magna and South Wigston, plus two bookcases donated by local libraries. Tea and coffee facilities are available for visitors in the coffee area, away from the valuable archive material. Lockers are provided for security of visitors' items, such as shopping and handbags. The centre was opened on the 20th of September 2019 by Her Worship the Mayor of Oadby and Wigston, Councillor Linda Eaton, and Honorary Alderman Duncan Lucas, who's President of the Greater Wigston Historical Society. There are many societies in Wigston, but the key one for the Heritage Centre is the Greater Wigston Historical Society, who have over many years collated the archive material found here. These photographs show some of the members and activities. Our local sponsors include Inkwright Limited, Wigston Signs, Oadby and Wigston Lions, Greens Upholsterers, Fishers of Wigston and Neville Chadwick Photographers. This display board shows the variety of significant buildings in the area. Details of these and other buildings can be found in the archive. This wall displays some original artwork donated by local people.
the first of our computer workstations is dedicated to family history research. From this terminal, there is access to online search services, free of charge to visitors, plus a large number of data sources for the Greater Wigston area. An ideal source for that elusive missing information. If you're researching your family history and need help, there are experts on hand to guide you. Our physical archive contains hundreds of local reference books. There are, however, some duplicates. These duplicates are located here for visitors to browse and if they so desire, take them home for a small donation towards the running of the centre. The second and third workstations are dedicated to accessing our massive digital archive of over 10,000 pictures, documents, adverts, aerial photographs and maps. These can be browsed in several ways. Firstly, just stepping through the detailed directories by location, down to the street level. And secondly, by use of a sophisticated piece of search software that generates a report showing where you can find specific items. More archive material is filed under digital materials, including recordings of memories by local people photographs, maps of the area, including field names and public footpaths, and finally, copies of old local newspapers. Another display board shows pictures of Glen Parva and gives a brief historical overview, including the Leicestershire Regimental Barracks. Our fourth workstation provides access to the digital archives and scanning equipment. This display board provides information on Wigston Magna with old maps and aerial photographs from the 1960s showing what the village looked like before the bypass. Our local framework knitters museum is remembered with photographs and the history of the master hosier's cottage and workshop. Our famous local residents are remembered on this display board with each photograph referenced so you can go directly to the digital archive and find the originals. Although we're not a museum, we do have one or two exhibits of great importance. This one is the original chair belonging to Orson Wright, the man who designed and built South Wigston. Not the original cover though. Kilby Bridge and the Grand Union Canal are very important parts of our area and played a key role in the development of Wigston Magna. Here we have some photographs and a short history of the hamlet. We have a small area where we display material on sale, such as our DVDs about the area and our annual calendars. We have more material awaiting indexing and displaying this time covering Counterstorpe. We have two large bookcases. The first contains books related to the area history, covering Wigston Magna, South Wigston, Kilby Bridge, Glen Parva and Counterstorp. On the other side, we have reference books and materials relating to family history research. Below this, the complete set of photograph albums from the Duncan Lucas collection. These are cross-referenced to the digital archive to allow copies to be provided by email. Our second bookcase contains the Historical Society transactions and bulletins, plus some 35 scrapbooks compiled by various society members across the last 40 years and containing a massive amount of material, including newspaper stories. 
these are popular with visitors who like to browse the history of the area. On the other side is a display of photographs of the area by Tony Danvers. Maps are especially important to any heritage centre and ours is no different. They help our volunteers explain where buildings were located, how the villages developed and where the railways ran. The Wigston Historical Society, who set up the Heritage Centre, wanted to provide a resource to the area that was free of charge and would provide local people with a place to go and look at their heritage. We make no charge for any of the services we provide. However, if you feel like supporting further growth and expansion, please feel free to make a donation.